Fine Arts degree from Tawana University and was among the top 100 of the 2015 and 2016 Barclays Atelier Art Competition. He also studied at the London International School of Fashion for a year, exhibiting his works at the Victoria Art Museum and Paris. This week, sculptor Manella Corza was named the winner of the 2016-2017 SA Taxi Foundation Art Award, where his winning work will be carried by 10 taxis on selected routes for a year. He joins us now to tell us more about his win, as well as his second solo exhibition, Lonely Nights at the Lisa Moore and Associates Gallery. Benella, good morning. Thank you very much for joining. Good morning. When you're an artist and you win an award, uh, or you win something, does that mean anything? I know that the actual art of winning is something, but it doesn't mean anything. Does it have an impact on how you create, or how you, for example, in your solo exhibition now? Um, I think what it really helps with is building up your confidence because I mean um, in the past three years of practicing I hadn't won anything I tried in yeah. those past three years and it just reinforces the fact that I'm um, actually doing well you do you like the right track and everything so for me it really has been encouraging to because you've, you've entered this competition the uh, Barclays Atelier 2015-2016 uh, you didn't win but you were recognized nice, yes. um, now you win the SA Taxi Award uh, art competition it will be carried on 10 taxis um, why this drive to enter those uh, the competitions and, and what does it say about your competitive nature as an artist um, no matter, I'll actually not even speak about that because um, I don't um, see, um, appear as someone who is like competitive, but mm. deep down I'm actually very competitive. And um, I think what it, that helps is just um, a form of recognition like um, in regards to creating and also just getting it exposed to people. And I mean, with the Texas, it's going to be um, entering like the streets of South Africa where art wouldn't be available. Mm. So um, I think that's why it helps. Yeah. So I want to talk to you in two parts about the work that actually got you to win uh, um, that award, the 50,000 Rand. I'm, I'm telling everybody you got 50,000 Rand. And um, the fact that it will be displayed on taxis, just opposed to the person who has studied fine arts, who has uh, studied fashion, and has had the ability as, as a sculptor. Where does that creatively put you? So, you can, oh, so where does that creatively put you? Because you, you, you know, you've, you've done fine arts, you've studied Sorry, fashion, uh, oh, okay, yes. and you're a sculptor. So what was the work that eventually won? One. Um, so what I created, um, I was actually flying from Dubai to South Africa. And this time around, it was the third time entering for the competition. And I was like, okay, we need to do this. And what happened is that... Um, Sorry. <laughs> No, I know you live yeah, in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then um, the work that got in, um, it had to represent Africa. So the question was, um, what is to be African? So I questioned myself while um, in an international space, like um, in another country. So I asked myself, like, what is it to be African? And when I asked myself, I was like, um, what do people see as African? Yeah. It's this bright colors. Um, it's the African masks. Um, and then that's how I appropriated the work and designed the taxi using that information. And also, um, what is to be African for me is different because I can't speak for all Africans because yeah. my reality is really different from anyone else's. So that was my supporting text to that as well. What was the answer? Um, it was that um, I can't speak for everyone in Africa about what is to be African. I could speak from on my side. Of so what it is to be to African be. is having a, an identity, a uni uniqueness, uniqueness within this. Yes. Okay. Yes. So you've got an exhibition coming up uh, at Lisa Moore yes. Gallery and Associates. Talk to me about that solo exhibition. Solo exhibition. Um, it's so your second one. Um, yes, it is my second one. Yeah. Um, so it was actually titled Lonely Nights and it was actually predecessor to um, Temporary Feelings, which I had done at the, temp um, at the Pritchard Museum. So um, um, Lonely Nights, it was actually speaking about my loneliness as an artist, as an individual, and also the fact that um, we work in this, I work in this space where I'm always on my own and people don't recognize that. And also people aren't free to speak about loneliness as well. Mm. And so I was creating a platform where people could actually um, see that they're not the only ones that are lonely and also just to start a conversation about that as well. And mm. it happened, it really happened in the opening. Sure. Uh, but, but for me, uh, it's, it's always amazing when artists 
contextualize their work to what are the, the real issues at the heart of us. Because some of us sometimes do feel lonely. Yes. And it's, it's actually within feeling lonely, you think you're the only one. And yeah. I'm great that you also say that you do also feel lonely. Um, and then um, just with loneliness itself, like it's, it's something that people keep quiet about. Yeah. And because there's a stigma attached to it. Yes, you sure, can't yeah. say publicly I'm lonely. Actually, yes. It's a Vanilla, thank you very much. It's at Lisa Moore and yeah. Gallery, uh, Gallery and Associates. It's called A Lonely Night. Sculptor Vanilla Koza talking to us about uh, not only art, but the fact that his work will be on 10 taxis on selected routes for a year. We're taking a break. Then.